All right, guys, so I'm gonna start putting some of the tools up here just to clean up a little bit more. All right, we are now to the point of doing the prop guards. So let's go ahead and dump those out. And I'm gonna show you a few things ahead of time here so you're aware of which ones go where. So if you look at your prop guards here, you've got two prop guards that have center hole, two holes, and there, there's a, uh, a brace in between them. Two holes and a brace in between them. There is not another set like that, so that, that would be in the center. You see, this one has it, but this piece is missing. So you're looking for the ones with the two holes in the center, and it's in the middle, basically. So it's, it's almost like it's got two more brackets. So just kind of look at it like this, you're looking for these two these are your front and these are going to be your back and i'll explain to you how you're going to know those so let's do the front ones first okay so let's go ahead and open the screws up that came with our motor i know we already opened some but i'm gonna open another package here and what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss we don't need the, the short ones so find one of your little plastic bins and put the short ones away just like that okay save them for something else that you may need let's start with the long one and we're going to start with one of the prop guards for the um, front. So we'll start with motor number four. All right, prop guard's gonna go underneath the frame and you're just gonna basically put one screw in there and just start lining it up. And once you get that lined up, go ahead and just screw that in there. Don't tighten it down, please. Just kind of get it to hold, there you go. And now get the second screw in there. And I said this when I did the HD build yesterday, I fly with only two screws into my motors, but we're going to put all four in because most people will want to, I guess, put all four. But you can easily fly with just two screws. All right, so there's two right there. Let's put the next two in. Okay. And now, again, we're going to look for the, there's the, the one that has the two holes in the center, just like this. That's going to be this one right here. So this is going to be your next one. That's going to go on motor number two over here. So let's get up another set of screws. Okay, I don't have time to, I don't have the patience for Ziploc bags right now. Take the small screws and put them in this bin with the other ones. Okay, let's throw the bags out. All right, and now we're going to do the same thing again. Put the screw in one of the holes there, line it up. And just lightly tighten that down. Get the next screw, go across from it. Same thing. Okay. And then you put the last two screws, the last two long screws in. Perfect. Okay, so there you go right there. Now we go to the back. Well, let's look at the back real quick. The back is cut out in such a way to where it fits and doesn't get hit and doesn't cause any problems of, 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 of getting in the way of the front, right? So we're gonna just basically move these around until we figure out which one goes where. And it's not gonna be very difficult. This one is gonna go on this side. And the reason being is you cannot get the holes to line up on this side without hitting something. So it's gonna go right here and we're gonna grab another. Now I'd already opened a set of screws here, so I'm gonna get those right now. One, two throw that out and there's the third one and I don't know if I where the fourth one went flying to but I'll put the small ones back in here and something tells me the fourth one will show up at some point so let me at least do these two so I'll put the screw in just like we've been doing just come over to here easier if I have the screw at the end of the screwdriver not in my finger because my fat fingers don't work too well with this but anyways let's go ahead and tighten one down okay and then we're just going to turn this just a little bit get the holes to line up just like that 
we go. Ah. There we go. Okay. That is a great fit right there. All right. And now we'll just do the last one. Now, I, I, I'm still missing. I'll put the three. I'll put the third screw in. But I don't know where I put the fourth one. It's somewhere in this heap. Let me put this one in. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now I got the last bag of screws right here. So we'll go ahead and open that real quick. Okay. Take the small ones. Throw them in this little container. Close that so you don't spill them. I always spill them. Now let's get this last one on. So let's put the screw in here. And this time I'll just use the screwdriver because it's so much easier when you put that on the end of it. Line it up. Okay, and then we'll just put the last two screws in, and this is done. It's like the longest part of the whole thing. I don't know, me and Prop Guard sometimes we just don't mesh, but let's see. All right, so there we go. When I'm still missing that screw. I gotta find it somewhere. Somewhere in this mess is a screw that I lost, which I'm not gonna worry about. It's not this one. It must be maybe against the edge somewhere. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. It's just gonna bother me later, but fine. Anyways, you get the point though. Everything is now attached, everything looks good. Okay, and we are now done. This is literally the end of the hardware portion. So you've got your XT60 ready to connect. You've got your uh, capacitor here set to go, so you're good there. Everything's good. Uh, if you want to get an idea of what this weighs in comparison to the HD version, let's do that real quick. 76.68. Not much lighter, but probably about four, four grams lighter, perhaps. Um, three grams lighter, something like that. But anyways, there you go, guys. So you've got your build ready to go. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, very lean, very mean. Um, and uh, and uh, so the next portion of this build video series is gonna be on the programming, okay, for uh, doing the beta flight, the BL Heli. Okay guys, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video series here for right now. Um, I'm gonna publish these this section first on the hardware, and I'm gonna come back and then do the programming for beta flight and BL Heli. Uh, and we'll go through that uh, as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, and I hope you're enjoying your build because this is a very good build. This is going to fly really awesome for you. And I'm really, I'm really excited about it as well. Okay. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit and we'll do the software programming side next. And then I'll come back and take it apart and do it with the TBS receiver so you can see how that's done as well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.